I'm setting the valve timing on a 944S, a 16 valve, 2.5 liter engine car. It's a similar process for the S2 and 968, perhaps even for the 928s, um, but I think the actual um, timing values are different on those cars. But what I've got here is I've got a dial indicator going down into the spark plug one hole. And so that's measuring for top dead center. When is the piston coming all the way up in its stroke? Now, pistons one and four move together or, you know, operate in the same direction on the, on the crankshaft. And cylinders two and three are the opposite. So when cylinder one is at top dead center, it is firing its spark plug. It's developed maximum compression, and it ignites the spark plug for its power stroke. Cylinder number four is also at the top of its stroke, but it has just finished exhaling the exhaust. The exhaust valve is now closing, and it's ready to open the intake valve. So we can look at the lobes on the camshafts here. So it's actually not quite at top dead center yet. The number one piston is on its way up. I can tell because when these two lobes, when this lobe is kind of pointed uh, a little bit diagonally and this one's pointed diagonally, that's, that's about top dead center. So this is on its way up on the compression stroke. And you can see back here the number four cylinder exhaust side, that lobe is pushing the lifter down. So the exhaust valve is open and it's ex exhaling the exhaust. And the intake valve here, the intake lobe is on its way around getting ready to push down the lifter. And the intake lifter back here is what this dial indicator is looking at on a little wire touching the top of that lifter. So what I can measure here is I can measure when the piston comes all the way up in its stroke and then when the intake valve opens. So the specs for this engine are at top dead center the intake valve should be opened 1.4 millimeters which is 56 thousandths of an inch. So I have this adjusted. Oh and then on our uh, camshaft we've got slots here um, for the, the housing on the back and then this nut on the front which locks it into place. Um, so we can adjust the cam timing relative to the crankshaft timing or you know the crankshaft position to, to change that valve timing. So now that I have it adjusted I'll see if I can put the camera on a tripod looking this way. Alright, so the intake valve is about to start opening and our piston is about to come up to the top of its stroke. So as I turn this a little bit We can now see the, the needle in the back on the intake valve just starting to move. And we can also see the piston at top dead center is starting to climb up. So this needle is going to make one more revolution. Now when this needle comes around, pauses and then starts to go the other way, that's, you know, that pause is where top dead center is. And that pause is going to happen right at about 56 thousandths, which is about the top of that gauge. So right about, right about here is top dead center. And that's our, our lift, our 56 thousandths. And now this needle is going to start swinging back the other way. So now the piston's going back down. The intake valve keeps opening, draws in air and fuel. Then the intake valve will close, it'll compress the air and fuel, and your engine is on its way.